fellow like Spear Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. New Zealand. Uh, I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan. What are we drinking? Well, Mike, today we travel down to New Zealand. <gasps> I love that. Land of the Kiwi, my friend. Oh. Uh, this is their... In no. Who's... Who's Dan? Sorry. Who's theirs is this? Uh, this is Aurora Brewing Company. Aurora! And this is their New Zealand Cascade Chicago, Interpreting Excellent. Delicious. And it is the cool fermented New England style India Pale Ale with German Noble and New Zealand Cascade hops. Oh. Uh, um, 6% ABV. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so Aurora Brewing Company. Love that label. Uh, it looks great. Yeah, it's classic Aurora. It is. Uh, so it they're is. out of King Ferry, New York, but they recently opened up a tap room here in the Rochester area, and more specifically, Pittsburgh, New York, Bushnell's Basin. If Which you is can right find next to steamers. Oh, what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. is it's a great tap room to visit if you can find a parking spot. They have two and a half parking spots. <laughs> no. Uh, you can park down in the parking lot, down at Tom Walls, and walk up. It's like right down the street. Yeah. Um, it's a great little location. Yeah. Although you can't sit down by the canal. And that's what I heard, because there used to be a brewery before, and you could like sit down by the canal, because it's right on the canal side. But I don't think they have that license to or whatever, so uh, something to look forward to. Yeah. All right. Aurora, first time on the channel. I know. That's a shame. That's our fault. Yeah. Um... All right, that looks like a nice kind of dulled, hazy orange. Nice bright white foamy head on it. Looks like a hazy IPA. It does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me smile. It's a dank one. Hmm. No, I like I. So <sighs> I'm in New Zealand. Fun. Yes. Yes. Fun fact. I'm in New Zealand. The hierarchy of hops out of New Zealand, uh, freestyle hops, by the way, uh -huh. uh, for me personally, is Motueka, 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 Motueka. No, Motueka on top, and New Zealand Cascade right second. New Zealand I love Cascade. New Zealand Cascade, uh. bro. Kohatu is pretty good. Too. Oh, yeah. I, Dude, this, is, a, a, this, this is insanely a just... Dank and fruity, grape skin, just yeah, man. Like it's, it's such a pleasant balance between being just dank, just oily, but like really bright, fruity, and grape skin is spot on. Cause that's what that's the fruit I got like right off the rip. Cotton candy grapes, man. Oh, big fat green grapes. This smells fantastic, and it, the aroma, while being so pleasant like that, I think it's a little subdued, and I'm really hoping for big things on the palate. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's got a sweet cracker uh, thing going on uh, with the malt. If you can get through that, <laughs> <laughs> but if you can pull apart, it's the all. Plants. To, to be honest, there is a cotton candy aspect. Going sure, on. there is a confectionery sweetness in there. What's that? Let's go. Let's dive in. Oh. Cheers. Funky you, dank. Did you get this? In? Ranky dank. Get this in there. Uh, AJ's Beer Warehouse. Oh man. That is, it's soft, it's light, it's kind of airy. There's a there's a little weight to it to make it kind of like a, you say like the lower side of medium bodied, like just enough to, to let it rest on your your tongue for a minute. Ooh, not overpower. Like I feel like the flavors want to be overpowering, but they're not. They're kind of relaxed. They're relaxed, but I find it superly bombastic at the same time. Yeah, right? Like, they want to be just, like, in your face, but somehow it's dialed back enough to where it's not going to destroy your palate. Yeah, the body is nice and full for 6% ABV. Um, mm. Yeah. Cotton candy grapes. You get this, uh, yeah, like, mm. wild kind of grass character, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's like this herbaceous vegetal kind of thing going on. But it's so fruity and juicy. It like, so fruity. there's a, I, I would even say there's a bit of passion fruit in there. Um, maybe a little uh, like uh, guava 
Not maybe not guava kiwi, definitely though. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can't say I want more of this. Man, this is good. So on the back end, it's weird because I'm getting like a lemonade thing now. Yeah, uh, I agree. There, there's a nice lemon lime bit on the back. Um, I think a lot of the the flavors are right in the front. It everything kind of dissipates in the back and just kind of leaves a, a shadow of what it was. But that's really nice. I, I like the way it kind of cascades down the palate. <laughs> wow! Uh, I'll tell you what, man. This is juicy and delicious. Um, that floral, weedy note kind of, I think it takes a back seat when it hits the mouth. Smoking blunts. It, noinch, noinch, noinch. Uh, uh, it takes a little bit of a back seat, but just kind of holds everything together and keeps that juiciness down just enough to where it's not completely overpowering. <laughs> oh, I love beer. this beer. This is a great beer. No. Uh, there's something about the New Zealand hops that just really speak to me. Yep. yep. Um, they're, they're in the past life, hops. I'm pretty sure I was... A New Zealand hop? Yes. <laughs> you weren't you weren't bored of an egg. You were just a little hop sprout. <laughs> now came Dan with a song in his heart singing about New Zealand fruits and flavors and buds and every time I have New Zealand cascade, I'm like, man, this this hop, it fucks. New Zealand hops and they're the they're the pinnacle of hop deliciousness. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Well done, Aurora. What are you giving it? Four, four out of five. Yeah, me too. Read my mind. Um, it's just it. This is a delicious beer. Very good. Uh, very very good. I'm trying to think what I would want more. <sighs> mm. Maybe touch more carbonation. Touch. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I that. think it's a little undercarbed. Um, I think I'm in agreement with you. This whole thing. Okay. Good. Fair enough. We don't have to fight and argue tonight. Finally. All right. Um, the song and his heart will continue. <laughs> down in the description below, hit all the link trees. Have you had Aurora? Leave a comment down below. If you haven't, you uh, should. Have you been to the tap room? What do you think? Did you find a parking spot? Yeah. It. You know what's really weird to me, though? Still, to this point, it's weird they still sell Aurora. It's oh, and steamers, literally. It's literally like 10 feet down the road. I could throw a baseball and hit it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not complaining. But... No, but we said that from the get-go when they moved in. They're like, still going to sell Aurora? Yeah, 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 that's weird. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, if Aurora watches this, it, like the light bulb, yeah, why are we still selling to them? <laughs> We're the ones that get Aurora out of steamers. Oh, no. All the lot room to put uh, other half back in. Don't uh, hate, bro. Oh, no, that was quickly. It's my bad. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cheers.